Welcome to Stars Arena. And we are finally underway here. Stars are cooking. A lot better offensive effort to start this one than what it's been in the last couple of games. And the superstar up to this point has been none other than the butterfly. Kasatat has the ball here. Score 23 to 19. Stars down by four. Okay, this ball gets thrown away. And we'll be giving you score updates throughout tonight. Okay, 7.09 left to go in the second quarter. Once again, four 10-minute quarters. And it's going to be a fun one, okay? Kylie Portillas for three. Can't get it to go. And number 33, Hannah McLean, has been really good tonight so far for Cossetot. Good bounce pass. This should be a layup opportunity, and the foul right there is on number 30, Alina Milton. Welcome in, Stars Nation. Sorry for the brief delay in getting this game started. Missed a good bit of the first quarter, actually all the first quarter, but we're still here for you. The flu bug has been floating around. So, guess what? I'm rolling solo tonight. <laughs> this broadcast being produced by Benji Brown. Big thanks to him. And we have to set it all up. Executive producer, Justin Guerin. And, of course, on-site producer, Zion Ganter. There you go, Zion. <laughs> okay. Second free throw is up and good. That's number 10, Jarek Cotton. And here come the stars. Bufford has it. She gets it to Kylie Portillas, and it gets stolen. Stars have really had issues with turnovers this season, and it's an easy bucket going the other way. Now it's an eight-point lead after a good Stars first quarter. This 1-3-1 zone has been giving the Stars some issues. Bufford has it. She makes a good pass here to Trinity Kushmal, and she draws the foul. Kushmal, one of the few remaining stars from last year's team, actually one of two, and there's a technical foul on the floor. And let's see, Kylie Portillas will shoot the two technical free throws, and then after that, Trinity Kushmal will get two free throws, and they will have the opportunity here to cut it to a four-score game. First free throws up, and it's good. <laughs> Kylie Portillas, nothing but net. 27 to 20 year score, 619 left to go in this first half. Second free throw is good. Stars, 21 points in this first half. Just to let you know that Nate Evans really pushed this team in practice this week. Last home game, Stars only had five first half points. They're already at 21. Really good stuff here from the South Dark Stars. First free throw for Kusmal is up and it's good. Second free throw is good. So four free throws. Stars have struggled from the charity stripe this year. And now the Stars have a chance to make this a one possession game. A huge, huge, huge shift of momentum here. J.C. Bishop has it. She gets it back to the butterfly. Bishop back to Bufford. Logan Smith, a good pass in the Kuzmal. She gets it up. No good. Lexi has it. No good. And the rebound will lead to a foul here on Lexi. Very unfortunate situation here for the Stars. Once again tonight, they will not have Zoe Nation, who has been one of their best players this season. Almost stolen here by the best defender on this team. Three is up and it's no good. J.C. Bishop forces a jump ball here. And Logan Smith will take it out. Stars have the ball. 5.46 left to go. Stars only down by four. 
this 1-3-1 zone, having the Stars in a frenzy here. Ball gets here to Smith. She gets it to Kushmal, to JC, to Bufford for three. It's up and no good. Good rebound by JC Bishop, and she scores! Number five, JC Bishop for two. And we have a two point game. Stars, the defense has been a lot better this game for the Stars. And right on cue, they hit a jumper. Huh? 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 Once again, that's number 33 for the Stars, or excuse me, for them, Hannah McLean. JC Bishop gets it to Bufford. She takes the five footer. It's no good, excuse me, 15 footer. Rebound by Kosatot. Kosatot has it. It's number 30, Samaya Smith. Ball is into the post here, and that is a good call. It's a foul on number 12, Lexi Robinson. Lexi this season, all the way from the best state in the union. That's, of course, Louisiana. Huh? 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 Shout out to the boot, baby. Lexi Robinson from West Monroe in particular. First free throw up. It is no good. Second free throw will go up. This one's good. That's number 35, Karina Fulbright. Bufford has it. She gets it to J.C. Bishop. She cuts in. Almost stolen. Back to Bufford. She almost gets it stolen. No look pass to Trinity Kushmal. She makes one extra pass and it's stolen. Kostatad has it. They're pushing. Almost thrown away. Stars trying to jump a passing lane. Huge size advantage in the post. J.C. Bishop just could not hold steady there. Buffer takes a shot and it's good. Offensively, the Stars have just been so much better tonight. 3.55 left to go, Stars down by five. There's a foul right there. And it'll be, yet again, number 35 Fulbright to the line to shoot two. Stars going for a pretty nice size substitutions. Alicia Skeins into the game along with Kylie Portillas. Kasatat takes the three. It's no good. Good box out there by Smith, but it will stay with Kasatat. First free throws up, and it's good. It's number 33, Hannah McClain. Probably the best player on this Casatat team. Second free throws up, it's also good. 338 left to go, Stars down by seven. And it's stolen again. And this will be an easy lay-in again for Casatat. Oh, good pass, Alicia Skeins will get the easy lay-in. Great pass from the Butterfly. Skeins from Farmerville, Louisiana. Shots up, no good. McLean again with the rebound, that's up and it's good. South Ark has it. Kylie Portillo will have an open three, it's up. It's no good. Kostatot, another rebound. The Colts. McLean has it. She takes a long three, and it's short. Rebound by the Butterfly. She has a three on one. She fakes the pass, and they call a charge. It did not look like the feet were set there. Huge shift in momentum, and Kostatot will take a timeout, and we'll take it with them. 
Your score with 239 left to go in this first half. Colts 38, Stars 29. And we are back into the game. Hannah Kate McBride, Emma Kate McBride, excuse me. Two Jonesboro, Louisiana teammates out there. Emma Kate McBride has been unbelievable from distance this year for the Stars. 2.29 left to go in this first half. Kasata tried to run the give and go. Deep three is up. It's no good. McLean, another rebound. It's up and it's good. Stars down by 11. 2.13 left to go in the first half. Bishop here. And, oh, a ticky-tack foul right there. I'm glad they called it. It's on number 10. Cotton. 2.06 left to go. Stars down by 11 in this first half. Stolen. Kasatot's got a two-on-one. They take it all the way. No good. Good job by Alicia Skeins to hustle back in there and make it tough. And there is a foul here. And it will be a two-shot foul. It'll be number 30, Samaya Smith, the sophomore. Came into this game only averaging six. She has been a thorn in the star's side. 151 left to go in this first half. Stars down by 11. Free throw is good. Second free throw's up. Good. 42 to 29 is your score. Stars here. Imitate, pump fake. Cross-court pass to J.C. Bishop, and it's out of bounds. She was trying to get it to number two, Logan Smith, in the corner. Couldn't quite get it there. 140 left to go in the half. 42-29, still your score. Please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and it's a foul here on Cassandra Bufford, or Taziah Bufford. Into the line, shooting two, number 35, Karina Fulbright. And into the game for the first time from Spring Hill, Arkansas, number 23, Cameron Dixon. First free throws up, and it's good. Karina Fulbright, second free throws up, and it's good. Skeins will take it out. 127 left to go in this half. Can the Stars cut into this deficit? Buffer takes the three. It's no good. And it's a rebound again by the Colts. Samai so Smith is pushing. And it's an easy bucket again. Fulbright for two. One minute left to go. Stars down 46 to 29 now. Bufford dribbles in, takes the floater. No good. 
Almost gets her own rebound, but there is a foul, a push here on the Colts, and Logan Smith will take it out. Come on, Stars! 55 seconds left to go in this first half. Dixon to imitate McBride. Spin move. McBride takes the floater, and it's good! Sweet floater. Imitate McBride this year has been instant offense. 40 seconds left to go. 15 point lead for the Colts. Stars looking for that first home victory. It's gonna be tough. Another bucket there from Jarek Cotton. Stars can hold for last shot here. Bufford gets it stolen. And the Colts gallop for another two. 50 to 31 is your score now. Stars can hold for last shot. What a move. Oh, and Bufford got a little too unselfish. Almost stolen by the Colts. Six seconds left to go. Stars have got to get a shot up. Stars have got to get it in with six seconds left to go. Dixon gets it to McBride. Stars have got to get a shot up. The floater is up, and it's good! Emma Kate McBride at the buzzer. The floater was so sweet. But the lead is still big. Your score at half. Stars, 33. Colts, 50. Don't forget, this is the first game of a doubleheader. The men's stars will be back in action tonight. And don't forget, we'll have another game. More than likely on Monday, 5.30, 7.30. We'll see you here at Stars Arena. Second half is coming up in just a moment. You're watching Stars Basketball. Let's go.
And we are back. Let's go, Stars. Kostatan has it. Stars offense has been better. Defense has been lacking a little bit. Oh, good steal for the Stars. Kylie Portillas has it. Smith has it. Gets it to Kylie Portillas. She has it open. J.C. Bishop for three. And it's short. Kasatot has it back. Just underway here in this third quarter. One more quarter after this. Three is up and it's good. Kasatot now up by 20. 53 to 33 is your score. That's Kiana Holly. J.C. Bishop gets it back to the butterfly. She floats and it's no good. It's Kiana Holly with the ball. Holly has the most interesting hairstyle I have ever seen on a basketball court. She has her hair tucked in under her jersey. The two-point bucket is good. Sophia Reyes with the two. 8.53 left to go. The butterfly has it. Back to Kylie. She's going to take the long two. It's no good. 8.44 left to go in this third quarter. Colts up by 22 now. It's Reyes again with the ball. She takes a wild shot. Good defense from Elena Milton. She gets it to the butterfly, Bufford. She takes it all the way in. She gets crushed. And they're going to call an offensive foul? Really? Really? I, I, ah, goodness. 22-point deficit still for the Stars. It's going to be really hard for them to cut back into this lead. But let's see if they can. Wide open bucket again. Holly with the two. 8-11 left to go in this third quarter. The butterfly gets it to Kylie. She takes the three. It's no good. And we're going the other way. Another three is up, and it's good. Holly crushes it. 60 to 33, your score. Stolen again. Easy bucket for the Colts. And it's no good. And now it's good. And it's a timeout. Nate Evans calls it. And that looks like it'll just about do it barring a miracle stars down by 29 now 62 to 33 is your score 736 left to go in this third quarter and look there's still plenty of time for you if you're listening or watching live you can get to stars arena right now located on south art community college's campus right next to the other brookshires huh 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 i like this brookshires Get here now. And guess what? I got an extra seat in this booth. You could join me in the booth right now. Stars Arena. Let's get it. We say hi to Rashad Wilson joining us. Rashad, good to see you. It's going to be really, really, really tough for the Stars to fight back into it. Nate Evans goes with the hockey substitution. Five players out, five players in. And into the game, number 23, Cameron Dixon. Number 21, Alicia Skeins. Number three, Emma Kate McBride. Number 12, Lexi Robinson. And number 13, Trinity Kish Mall. Emma Kate has it. She gets it into Lexi, back to Emma Kate. Cameron Dixon takes a wide open three. It's short. Skeins has a chance for a rebound. She gets it. Good rebound from Skeins. She has an open imitate McBride. She makes a pass to Kushmal, and this is stolen by the Colts. Kasatot's coaching staff is loud, and I think his voice is about to go out. <laughs> huh? 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 Reyes gets fouled. Oh, they didn't call that in the act of shooting. She might have not been shooting. I don't know at this point. It is out of bounds, and the Colts will have it. Oh, 
No backcourt violation there. You are allowed to throw it into the backcourt. 14 on the shot clock, 6.55 left to go. Good steal by Alicia Skeins. She gets it to Trinity Kushmal. Now to Emma Kate McBride, stars down by 29. Can they make one final push? Emma Kate McBride takes a fadeaway and it's good! Emma Kate McBride for two. Reyes in there and she gets it to go. Emma Kate McBride has it. 6.21 left to go in this third quarter. She gets it to Kushmal. It's stolen again by the Colts. Three is up and it's good. Kiana Holly has been simply sensational. Alicia Gaines for three, it's up, and it's good! Alicia Gaines has the biggest fan base here. Gotta support the Gaines family. And it's stolen by Emma Kate McBride, but they do call a foul. Alicia Gaines has put together two good games in a row. And Nate Evans makes Another hockey substitution. Four players in, four players out. Cossetan has emptied their bench. And they score again. It's number 35, Fulbright. It was a good pass from Alexis Hernandez. Stolen again. Stolen again by the Stars, and they have numbers. Alina Milton's got to take this all the way in, and then it's stolen by the Colts. Back and forth affair. And they're gonna call a charge on number 35, Karina Fulbright. Good defense from Emma Kate McBride. Stars down by 31. Wild pass, it's out of bounds. 4.58 left to go in this third quarter. Some good Stars defense this possession. Let's see if they can keep it up. Three's good. I jinxed it. Blame it on me. Huh? 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 Alexis Hernandez. Casatot's got a really good bench. Smith the deep three. And it's good! Logan Smith, known mostly for her defense, nails a three. Casatot still up by 31. And it's an and one. My number 35, Karina Fulbright. Milton on the foul. One free throw here for Fulbright. She came into this game averaging 12. And it's good. Milton gets it into McBride. Emma Kate, stolen again. Good defense from Alicia Skeins. Casa Todd up by 34, 352 left to go in this third quarter. Stolen here by McBride. McBride's pushing. Makes a really good pass to Bishop for three. No good. Hernandez for three, it's short. Alicia Skeins again makes a play and it'll be Stars ball. 
into the game. Number 12, Lexi Robinson for number 30, Alina Milton. I got to give it to Alicia Skane. She's had two really good games off the bench in a row. One of the many developmental pieces for the Stars. Logan Smith passes it out to Emma Kate McBride. Gets it to J.C. Bishop. Smith for three. Nails it again! Two in a row for number two. For three, Logan Smith. Stars down by 31. Good steal right here by Lexi. She gets it to J.C. J.C. gets it to Logan. Heat check for Logan. J.C. gets the pass to Imicate. Makes the pass to Skeins. She gets it to J.C. for three. It's up. No good. What a rebound by Logan Smith. J.C. gets it back to Logan. The open 15-footer is good. Five in a row for Logan. Your score now, 75 to 46. I've seen crazier things. Can the Stars mount some type of comeback? It's Fulbright again. They just have no answer. She is a force in the post. JC gets it to Emma Kate. Cross to JC. Smith just needs to shoot. She's on fire. What a pass to Lexi! And she can't get it to go. Smith has been unbelievable in this third quarter. Oh, good defense. And they are going to call a jump ball here. And it'll be Stars ball. 147 left to go in this third quarter. Stars down 77 to 46. Even if you're playing for pride, you want to finish strong. Three's no good. Rebound, Cossetod. Fulbright, blocked! Clean block by Lexi. Can Smith go coast to coast? She can. It's up and no good. Don't forget, we have a doubleheader here at Stars Arena Monday, 5-30, And one. Zakaya Taylor will shoot the and one. And tonight, the difference has been in the post. The size for Kasatat has been the difference. J.C. Bishop comes out. Number two, Logan Smith comes out. Kushmal back in. The butterfly back in. She makes the pass to McKay McBride. The three is up. No good. Fulbright the rebound. Kasatach is jacking up stuff now. An air ball. And it'll be Stars ball. 40 seconds left to go in this third quarter. Stars down 79 to 46. Kushmal has it. Good pass to Imikate. She takes a three. No good. Good rebound by Lexi. And they will call a jump ball there. Looked like Lexi had clean possession, but the Zebras had different thoughts. Normally, you don't want to jump ball. You just want to let it play on, but not the case. Kasatat stolen here by Trinity Kushmal. She gets it to Bufford. Bufford takes it all the way in. She gets fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two with nine seconds left to go. In this third quarter, Stars down by 33. But the Butterfly will go to the line to shoot two. We'd like to welcome you in to your free Stars broadcast. Please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. 
We have a second game of the doubleheader coming up. We're at 769 subscribers. Second free throw's good. And the butterfly gets another steal, and it's out of bounds. Tazea Bufford. Stars will get a chance. They also get a break. No time run off the clock, so it'll help them get some, get a better shot. Almost stolen again. It's got to go up. It's got to go up. And it finally does go up. Your score after three. Stars 48. Kasatat 79. You have merchandise on for sale at the gift shop and also the concession stand. And we are back. Tazea Bufford gets it to imitate. Passes it back to the butterfly for three. And it's a nothing but nylon trifecta. 59 to 71, your score. The Colts rolling. Galloping, whatever Colts do. Three's up, and it's good. Samaya so Smith. Stolen. Very bizarre. Reyes does get it to go. It looked like the Stars were boxing each other out. And Reyes will, will get the free throw here. Just a, a really, really difficult night for the Stars. Uh, it started really well, but it's gone sour. Like the movie Full Metal Jacket. A good beginning, tough end. I just didn't like where they went with that film. It was still a good film. Reyes does get the, the bonus. 9.05 left to go. 34-point lead. Emma Kate has it. She takes the three. No good. Good rebound there by Lexi. And she can't get it to go. 8.49 left to go. Reyes has it. Good defense from Lexi. Reyes eventually gets it to go. Very deflating to see this happen. The butterfly gets a touch foul here. It'll be on Reyes. Shot clock will remain at 23. You know, one thing that's been very interesting with the 30-second shot clock is it rarely is a factor. Skates has it. A chance to score. Can't get it to go. Butterfly 
They have been dominating the post. McLean for three, and it's good. Or no, it's a two. Foot was on the line. 7.59 to go. 89 to 51 is your score. Emma Kate McBride has it. The butterfly gets it. Nice crossover dribble. Lexi has it. She can't get it to go. And it's McLean. Foul there on Smith, and McLean will go to the line to shoot two. 89 to 51 is your score. Seems as if there will be a discussion in the offseason, the NJCAA. Will we ever get to a running clock in this sport? McLean, a very bizarre way to shoot free throws. Pops it up like a papa shot. But she does get that one to go. 7.36 left to go. 90 to 51 is your score. Logan has it. Gets it to the butterfly for three. Can't get it to go. Good play by Logan. To Zaya Buffard. Goes coast to coast. And she will get fouled and go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on number 11, Kiana Holly. Appreciate the support from Rashad Wilson in the chat. We appreciate you, Rashad. Don't forget, Rashad will be here. Hope you will be here for part two of tonight's doubleheader. First free throw is up. And it's good. You're a good shooter when you get rolls like that. They call that the shooter's touch. Second free throw is up. And it's good. 7-14 left to go in this one. You're scored 90 to 53. Reyes has it. Good steal from the Butterfly. And it'll go to the Colts. She slips. Some of that is fatigue. Reyes has it. Three is up. No good. It's going to be interesting who the foul's on. Okay, it's a good call. McLean with the push. Tried to barge in there and get the rebound. Stars will have it. 90 to 53 is your score. 6.48 left to go in this game. Emma Kate McBride for three. Can't get it to go. And they throw it away. South Ark will have possession. The Stars looking to make a push here. Make the scoreline look a little bit more respectable. Into the game is number 13, Trinity Kushmal. Emma Kate McBride has it. She gets it to Tazea Bufford. To Emma Kate. Cross court pass to Kushmal. Back to the butterfly. She steps back, takes a tough jumper. It's no good. Stars can't get the rebound. Reyes has it. It's stolen by Logan, and then it's taken there by Lexi. Tazea has it. Stolen again. Kasatat. And one. Cotton will go to the line to shoot the bonus. Cotton coming into the game has averaged 8.7 points per game. Colts make two more subs. A very deep Colts team. That's number 20, Sierra Shaw. And number 35, Karina Fulbright. Free throws good. Mm -hmm. 
Emma Kate McBride. Oh, that's not a double dribble. That's not a double dribble. That's not a double dribble. It was it was tapped out, ref. I mean, come on. I mean, we're down by 40. We're down by 40. Give us that call, please. I mean, what is he do what is he looking at? McLean has it. Stolen by Emma Kate. She dribbles around another player. Good crossover by Emma Kate McBride. She shoots the floater. No good. Colts have it. 5.16 left to go. Colts up by 40. They throw it away. Once again, your score, 53 stars in the gold, 93 Colts in the red. Tazea Bufford has it. To Logan, Emma Kate has an open three. Can't get it to go. To Bufford. No foul, but the bucket's good. 4.50 left to go. 38 point game, McLean takes a three and it's good. Timeout, Nate Evans. And your score with 4.42 left to go in this one. 96 Colts, 55 stars. Casa Todd Colts. Logan has it to the butterfly, to imitate. These cross court passes have just been stolen again and again and again. Let's see who the foul's on here. It's on the Colts, 4.17 left to go. Cameron's got an open three. She shoots it, and it's short. Rebound by Bufford. She shoots the three. It's also no good. McLean has it. And the Colts are rolling. It's Holly with the ball. To McLean, she takes another long three. No good. Rebound again by the Colts. And to the line shooting two will be number 20, Sierra Shaw. South Dark Stars still looking for that first home victory on the season. It won't come tonight, but it could come Monday. Yes, this coming Monday. We'll be back right here with the doubleheader, 5-30, Second free throws up, it's good. Monday, January 29th. Stars will play ASU Mid-South, another red team. I, at least I think they're red. JC, back to Logan. Someone's gotta shoot. JC takes it. No good. Fulbright has it. Three's up, and it's good. Sierra Shaw. Stolen again. And we're going to call a charge here. I'll take it. 
Can we get a mop? I guess not. Kasatop with the ball. The butterfly with the ball. 3.07 left to go. 101 to 55 is your score. JC for three. Good! JC Bishop for three! 2.53 left to go. Foul here on number 23, Cameron Dixon. Into the line shooting two. It's number 35, Karina Fulbright. She is a freshman center. 12 points per game for Fulbright. Second free throw for Fulbright. First one was good. Second one's up. It's no good. She should have had her own rebound. Missed it. Skeins has it. And that'll be a foul on Fulbright. Into the game, Trinity Kushmal. And number 30, Samaya Smith. To the line, shooting two is J.C. Bishop. Free throw's good. 102 to 59, your score. Good. Three's good. Tyler for three. 208 left to go. 105 to 60. Stolen almost again. JC Bishop has it. She gets it to Cameron Dixon. Three is up. It's no good. Skeins tries to get the rebound. It's just flipped up. Colts have it. Rebound to Logan. She gets it to JC. JC gets it to Cameron. She takes another three. It's blocked. She tried to save it. She can't. Hope she's okay. And she is. One thirty-seven left to go. One oh five to sixty is the score. Open three. No good. Rebound Kushmal. She gets it to JC. Cameron Dixon. Three is up. No good. Skates with the rebound and it's good. From Farmerville, Louisiana. Alicia Skates for two. Foul there by number 13, Trinity Kushmal. To the line shooting two will be number 30, Samaya Smith. I would be shocked if we see another foul in this one. First free throw is good. Don't forget game two of the doubleheader. Right after this one, Colts and Stars. Free throw's good. 107 to 62. It is important to note, Cameron Dixon can't get it to go. 
She loses the ball. J.C. Bishop has it. Cameron Dixon. And she gets a foul. Good job by Cameron Dixon. 29 seconds left to go. You would think Cossetot wouldn't foul, but they do as they are up by a lot. 107 to 62 is your score. 29.5 seconds left to go. First three throw from Cameron. No good. No good. Rebound Alicia Skeins. Can't get it to go. Rebound Trinity Kushmal. It's taken away. All right. I would be shocked. Shocked if they take another shot. I would be shocked if they took another shot, but they took it anyway. They could have just dribbled it out, but no. JC for three. No good. All right. I would be shocked if Kasatat shot again. And that'll do it. Your final score, Casatat 107, Stars 62. Another tough game for Nate Evans Stars, but don't worry. They'll get back at it Monday night, 5.30 right here. It'll be the first part of a doubleheader, men's and women's Monday night, but the men's are coming up here in just a moment. His name is Zion Ganter. My name's Carter the Power Bryant. Part two coming up in just a moment. It's Stars Basketball on the Stars YouTube Network.
And here we go, the South Ark Stars tipping off here in just a moment. The ladies 
fell short, but the men look to hold up their end of the bargain. Should be a fun night of basketball. Jalen King gets the start. No Tay Hendyer tonight, number zero, one of the starters for the Stars. Here come the Stars defensively. 19.52 left to go in this first half. We are just underway. The Colts, one and two in conference play. They take the long three. It's no good. Rebound to the Colts. And Jalen King has it. He gets it here to Troy Ramos. Ramos from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Let's get it going, baby. Stars basketball looking to get into their sets. Raheem Briggs motioning here to the left side. Ramos gets it to the light bulb. Braden Edison gets to work early. Good defense. He taps it to the Raheem Briggs. He gets up and it's good. Raheem Briggs from Omaha, Nebraska had an amazing first half last Thursday here at Stars Arena. Stars 9 and 6 on the season. The Colts, a very athletic group. Good to see number 11 here in the Grinches. That's Nick Moy. Three is up and it's good. That's number two, Wally. And here comes Ramos. He gets it to Garcia. The pump fakes up. He takes the three. No good. Rebound here, Jalen King. There's a foul on someone down low. Oh, who's that on? I don't know how that was on the Stars, but it's a foul. We have an absolutely positively packed home side here. Can't quite see it as the camera's on the visiting side. Zion Ganter producing tonight's live stream. My name's Carter the Power Brian here with you. And it's a steal here from the light bulb. Braden Edison tries to pass it over to an open Raheem Briggs, but there will be a foul here. It'll be Ramos here taking it out of bounds. Gets it into Braden. Oh, good pass to Jalen. No foul. And it looks like this is going to be a jump ball here. And it'll remain with the Stars. Good hustle by Jalen King. I'll be honest. Jalen King probably made 4,696 hustle plays in the last game. And he continues here. Garcia gets it to Ramos from Briggs. Ramos takes the shot, and it's good. <laughs> Troy Ramos. Backdoor cut good. Cut off right there by Ramos. Dribble drive, and that is a good foul call on Raheem Briggs. That was a nice take on number by number 34, Kari Loggins. The freshman comes into this game averaging 9.6 points per game. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Wild season thus far for both of these teams. First three throws up, and it's no good. Loggins came into the game as a 60% free throw shooter. And he'll tell you why right there. He misses both. Stars keep a one-point lead, 4-3. to 17.53 left to go in this first half. Ramos takes a long two. It's no good. Rebound here by the Colts. Colts have it. And it's a foul again on Raheem Briggs. He picks up two early fouls. Once again, Stars without one of their best post players, Tay Hinyard. And the Stars will have a warm welcome back. One of their best bench players from Simsboro, Louisiana, Jamarion Cato, will come back into this game. Or actually come into this game for the first time. This is first time back in a Stars uniform at home in about four or five games. And he steps in. Cato, no slouch himself. When he's played this season, he has been simply sensational. Good to have him back healthy and ready to go. Second free throws up, and it's good. And we have a 5-4 to four lead for the Colts. Ramos has it. We'll have a double scream here from Garcia. No, he takes the three. It rattles out. 
Colts look to extend their one point lead here. Five to four, your score. Three is up, and it's good. That's number two, Wally again. Oh, good pass from Ramos to Cato for three. No good, it was on target, just a little long. Wally has been hot for the Colts. Number two, guarded here by the best defensive player on this team, Garcia. And Wally says, I'm just gonna blow by you and score. And they have a six point lead. Cato gets it to Ramos. Ramos takes it in. The finger roll is good and one. Shooting the bonus will be Ramos. You've seen the charge block go haywire tonight in the women's game and that continues here. That one could have gone either way, but I'll take it, baby. Stars look to cut this to a one possession game. Your score 10 to six. Ramos free throw up, it's short. And here come the Colts, they gallop up the court. High screen. Stolen here by Ramos. Colts get it back. Alley-oop, no good. Colts getting all the hustle plays early on. Rebound by Jalen King. Gets it to Ramos. 16-11, left to go in this first half. Ramos gets it in to Braden the light bulb Edison. He gets hacked. Braden Edison, undoubtedly one of the best players in the history of the South Dark Stars basketball program. And oh my goodness, I thought for sure he was in the act of shooting. They're gonna call it on the floor. Oh man, that was a four point swing. That decision to call it on the floor instead of two free throws. It's a two point basket going the other way. 12 to six your score, Colts lead back in a moment. It's Stars basketball. And we are back. Troy Ramos has it from Jalen. Excuse me, the light bulb inbounded that. Braden, high pick here. He gets it back. He takes the 15 footer, and it's good. The Lamarcus Aldridge mid range jumper is sweet and silky smooth. And we have a four point game here. Stars looking to not drop two in a row at home. They have not done that all season. Block shot by Jalen King. He gets hacked. No foul. King gets it to Ramos. He takes the long shot and it's good. Troy Ramos. And it's out of bounds. Stars have seized momentum. 15.07 left to go in this first half. Stars have cut this to a 12 to 10 lead. And into the game will be Philip Tillman. Stars once again, not the deepest roster but every single player who's dressed out tonight is not a slouch. Every single player will probably play tonight, especially after the injury to Tay Hinyard. Garcia has it. He gets it to Philip Tillman from Jonesboro, Arkansas. Ramos has it. He gets it here to Jamarion Cato. Back to Ramos, 12 on the shot clock. Ramos, dribble drive, gets it to the light bulb. Philip Tillman, an open three. And it's good! You probably couldn't see this from home, but Philip Tillman had the bench of the Colts yelling right in his eardrum, and he was still able to make it. 
Ball don't lie, and the Stars take a one-point lead. Good defense here from Braden. Wally has been unconscious. He makes the extra pass. And that's a good call. Jamarion Cato gets a little push right there. Good dribble drive by Kari Loggins. Six seconds left to go on the shot clock. They'll reset it to a fresh 20. Into the game, number 23, Dylan Glover. And number 21, Zion Harper. Colts have a deep bench. And I mean, it is deep. They probably had double the amount of players the Stars have dressed out tonight. Good defense from Cato. Harper, who just checked in, misses a bunny. And the light bulb takes a floater. No good. Another good rebound by Cato. He still has it. And finally, we get a foul call. That's going to be at number 34, Loggins. Jamarion Cato off the bench has stepped up big. Once again, this is his first game dressed out in a while. Number 25, Raheem Briggs got into some early foul trouble. And Ramos has it. He's going to take a very contested three. It's no good. Cam Robinson not pleased with that shot selection. And it's going to be another steal here by Cato. He gets it to Ramos. And he gets swatted. Ramos gets it back. And that should be to the Colts. And it is. Good hustle by Troy Ramos. Sarge will get a fresh 20 on the shot clock. Braden Edison out. Jalen King back in. 13.38 left to go in this first half. Stars up by one. Low scoring affair, only 13 to 12. Two really good defensive ball clubs. Ramos gets it to an open three for Cato, and it's good! Uh, Jamarion Cato for three. Stars have a four point lead. 2-3 zone from the Stars. Cam Robinson mixing it up on the Colts. Good defense. Loggins takes it in, and it's Cato again on the rebound. The two best hustle players on this team, Jamarion Cato and Jalen King. Neither are regular starters. They make plays, though. Ramos takes the three. No good. Loggins has it. And a good bucket, the two counts. Ref called some basket interference. You're scoring out 16, 14 stars with the lead. We once again say hi to Rashad Wilson. Don't forget, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you can catch up with everything stars. Back in action this Monday night with the double letter, 530, 7:30. Double screen here, Philip Tillman has it. Another screen here from Jalen King. Philip Tillman with the ball. Takes a tough 17-footer. No good. Colts get the rebound. Good steal from Damian Garcia. To Philip Tillman. Cato gets it to Ramos. He takes a tough three. No good. Colts almost stolen again by Garcia. The mustache mafia in full force. 16-14 game. 12.05 left to go in this first half. Oh, it's King again. And they mark him out of bounds. Five seconds remain on the shot clock. No reset on the shot clock either. So the Colts are going to have to get this up quickly. Executive producer of tonight's broadcast, Justin Guerin, Benji Brown, co-producer, Zion Ganter on the camera. Oh, and an open three set up here for the Colts. It's no good. Rebound, Philip Tillman. Good pass from Tillman to Jalen King to get out. And it's Braden Edison. He takes it right to the 10, and it's no good. Eddie Gonzalez just checked into the game, number 32. I spoke to the Casatot sideline, and they said the person to look out for is number 32, Gonzalez, a seven-footer. How many seven-footers do you see walking around just around? You don't see them.
Good mop-up duty from Chris. He's always had the best shoes on the team, and he's not even on the team. First free throws up for the light bulb. It's no good. Into the game, number one. Kishan Brown. Pine Bluff for Pine Bluff. Zebra for Zebra. Second free throws up. And it's good. I'm not sure if they both went to Pine Bluff. High school. You also got Watson Chapel. Gonzalez has it. Oh, almost a moving screen. 2-3 zone to combat the size. Gonzalez takes the 12 footer. It's no good and Cato has just been sensational on the glass tonight for the Stars. Philip Tillman takes it all the way in. He gets it to Cato, to the light bulb. The light bulb is not afraid to go at the seven footer Gonzalez. 11.02 left to go, Stars having a three point lead. Cam Robinson still sticking with the two three zone. Gonzalez gets it back to Wally, number two. Wally takes the long three, almost banks in. Philip Tillman gets it. Jalen King gets it up to Tillman. Tillman gets it to the light bulb. He takes it in. It's in one. Oh, no. They're going to call it the other way. Cam Robinson doing the Dimas Dallin. <laughs> No, it's not the DDP. <laughs> huh? 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 Looks like he was doing a wrestling move, but he wasn't. He was calling for the block. And it looked like a block to me. I think next time they'll just tell Edison to take the three because the foul is costly. The two best stars this season have been Braden Edison, number five, and number 11, Troy Ramos. One of the smallest lineups the stars can put out there is out there right now. Gonzalez gets it to Wally. Three is up. It's no good. And it'll be out of bounds on the Colts. 10.09 left to go. Stars keep a three-point lead. Points have been at a premium. This reminds me of those old Boston Celtics Detroit Pistons games, right? Tayshaun Prince versus Paul Pierce. Those scores would be like 76 to 63. Cato says, Carter, shut up. We're going to get some offense going. Stars have a five-point lead. 22 on the shot clock. 9.44 left to go. Oh, good rebound by Ramos. He takes a floater. I don't know how that didn't go in. Gonzalez nails the three. The seven footer's got a stroke. Cato for three. No good. Two point lead for the Stars. Colts can stroke it. Stars defense has been really good though tonight. It's Gonzalez again. He wanted to shoot it. Oh, we're going the other way and it's a foul on number one, a push on Demaje Hampton. 8.58 left to go in the half. We say hi to Sharonda Brown. Showing some love for her son, Kashan Brown. Stars, one of their smaller lineups in right now. Cato takes a three. And it's good! Jamarion Cato has been sensational. Probably your first half MVP for the Stars. Good contest from Tillman, but it's to no avail. Number 23, Dylan Glover nails it. 8.21 left to go. Philip Tillman has it. Gets the screen here from Jalen King. Tillman makes a good pass to Kashan Brown. Three is up, and it's smooth. Ha, ha, ha. That one was for you, Sharonda. The three is good, and we get a timeout here. 
your score. 8.03 left to go, stars up by five. Stars back at it, 25 to 20. Stars. Gonzalez open. Good block shot right there by Tillman. Brown has it. It's to Ramos. He gets it to Garcia. Garcia has not scored yet. I don't think he's actually taken a shot yet. Kashawn Brown has it. Philip Tillman going up against a seven-footer. What a pass to Garcia. He can't handle it. Ten on the shot clock. Tillman for three. It's short. Fouls on number four, Jalen King. Looks like that was a good call. We say hi to Tequila Woods here for Philip Tillman. Philip Tillman, one of the highest flyers on this Stars team. 7.24 left to go in this half. That's a good bucket. Number one, Hampton. Sars only up by three now. Jalen King gets it back to Tillman. Let's see if the Stars work it down low. Colts have gone to a smaller lineup. Oh! Are they going to call Philip Tillman for a tech on hanging on the rim? It'll be to the Colts. Refs decide to not give Philip the tech. Here we go. Colts are now going to take on the Stars' pressure. 25. Can they get a 10 second? They couldn't. Rebound Jalen King. And that'll be a foul on the Colts. Game's been a little clunky. Very clunky, actually. Lots of loose balls, fouls, a very physical game. Six forty three left to go. Jalen King will shoot two. Stars up three. Actually, no, it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. No good. Stars can't make the Colts play. No good. Open three right there. Glover was there. Kashawn Brown takes a floater. It's good. Brown, it is so valuable to have a point guard this good coming off the bench. Oh, what a block! Jalen King! Kicks Hampton out the club. What a block shot by one of the more athletic stars we've ever seen. From Atlanta, Georgia, Jalen King. Should be a shot clock violation, and it is. Good defensive set right there from the Stars. Stars have worked really hard this past week in practice to get the defense better and so far so good okay 
5.48 left to go. Stars up by five. Low scoring affair here. Cam Robinson trying to get the Stars into their offense quicker. Jamari Ankato has it. Gets it to Philip Tillman. To Damian Garcia. Back to Kashawn Brown. High screen coming. Brown gets it to Jalen King. And it's good! The ball movement from the Stars has been unfreaking believable since Kashun Brown has been in the game. Really good stuff from him. 5.17 left to go. Stars up by seven now. Wally, out of control, throws it away. Cam Robinson, looking like Jerome Bettis over there, gets the football and... He's rocking the towel in the left hand. A student of the game, Cam Robinson. Honor of the late John Thompson. Philip Tillman has it. Gets it to Damian Garcia. Back to Kashawn Brown. High screen coming again. Stars have been running this set to death tonight, and they have not been able to stop it. Good pass to Cato, who's been hot. Three is up. Oh, Wallace tipped in by Garcia. And the Colts eventually get it. Good defensive switch right there by the Stars. Colts down by seven. Looking to cut into this lead. God, the Stars defense has been good. 15 on the shot clock. Should be traveling, if anything. Oh, they called a technical foul here on Cam Robinson. You can't call a tech when it's a clear charge foul or a clear traveling. Cam Robinson needing to be cooled down. It looks as if the referees knew that they were wrong. They didn't like the coach correcting them. And they give a technical foul here to the Colts, the Zebras outside of their normal habitat, the Serengeti, can't call anything right. And the Colts get rewarded here. Free throw is up and it's good. It's number 11, Nick Moy. Second free throws up and it's good. This year, Kostatot has been terrible from the free throw line, averaging 15 made free throws on 22 attempts. Thirteen on the shot clock. Kostatot. Jay Key into the game gets the foul. Before the game, I highly recommend if you're watching this live stream to take a look at the pregame dunks. It would be about 20-ish or so minutes before this game. Jay Key is probably the best dunker on this team from Junction City, Arkansas. So the only local kid on the men's team gets the foul call there. Free throws up, it's good. Second free throw about to go up here. It's good. 402 left to go, four point game. That missed traveling call was huge, led to the technical foul. Kashawn Brown has it. Cato takes it in. Floater is no good. And here come the Colts. They can cut it to a one possession game here. Stolen by Damian Garcia! And he throws it down! The Mustache Mafia picks the pocket and throws it down. Stars up by five. 
3.17 left to go. Damian Garcia, what a play. Here come the Stars. The defense has been suffocating. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Wally's gonna have to shoot. Out of bounds. It would have been a shot clock violation anyway. And coming back into the game is number 23, Dylan Glover. 2.58 left to go. Stars up by five. Your score, 31 to 26. Don't forget, Stars doubleheader. 5.30, 7.30. Right here at Stars Arena, located on South Tharks campus. High pick and roll here. Kashawn Brown gets it to Garcia for three. No good. Rebound to the Colts. Looks like a double dribble there. No call, but number 34, Loggins gets it. 2.32 left to go. Stars only up by three now. Cato has it. He takes it in. Oh, looks like that is goaltending. Stan Asumnu is not happy about that goaltending call. Does eventually agree with the referee. Stan also coaches a women's team. And he is probably the most vocal coach in all of Arkansas. His voice is yelling to no avail. Good ball movement from the Colts. They get a floater, no good. Garcia gets smashed in the, in the head. Good spin move by Phillip Tillman to get out of the pressure. Here comes Tillman. Behind the back dribble to Garcia. Gets it out to Cato for three. No good. Good rebound by Tillman. He gets hammered, and it is a foul call. And Tillman, in the bonus, should go to the free throw line for a one-and-one -one situation. Philip Tillman coming into this game, averaging 10 points per game off the bench. Him and Cato have been the two best players players off the bench offensively this season. Philip Tillman, all the way from Jonesboro, Arkansas. First free throws up and it's good. Nothing but net. String music. Second free throws up. It's good. Oh, good full court pressure right here from the Stars, and it's thrown away. 147 left to go in the first half. Stars 35, Colts 28. Kashawn Brown has it. And they'll stop it here. They think it should be a 20-second shot clock. All right, and Stars will have to start over here with only 18 on the shot clock. Kashawn Brown takes the screen, gets it to Cato for three. It's up. No good. Philip Tillman has it. Good pass to Cato. The floater is short. 128 left to go. Stars up by seven. Wally had a chance to shoot it, got scared. That's just a good bucket right there. Number 21 for the Colts. That's Harper. Kashawn Brown gets it. Dribble handoff here. Brown thought about it. He gets it to Garcia. He gets it back to Brown. 18 on the shot clock. One minute left to go in the half. High pick coming from Jamarion Cato. Philip Tillman gets it to Cato. Good cut from Cato, and he takes it all the way in and scores. Jamarion Cato has been the best player for the Stars tonight. Kashawn Brown gets on the floor. It's every single game Kashawn Brown makes plays. It's every single game. Chris Miller coming for a mop up. They say no, 38 on the shot clock. Stars will get one more possession if they can get a rebound here. 
And they do bring Chris Miller in to mop up. Right now in the chat, let me know who you're watching for tonight. Or if you're just a Stars fan and you have no allegiance to any player, let me know. Please let the world know about Stars basketball, y'all. We bring the freaking heat every single time we go live, baby. Oh, no. It looked like Kashan Brown's feet were set, but they do call a blocking foul here on Kashan Brown. And shooting the extra free throw here will be Dylan Glover. 37 to 32, your score. Stars will not be able to hold for final possession there. Perfect scenario for the Colts. They're going to get a two for one here. No good. Jalen King gets it. 37 32 is your score. Philip Tillman gets it across the timeline. Tillman has been juking. Every single player in front of him. Garcia gets it to Cato. Dribble handoff here to Garcia. He gets it to Brown. 10 on the shot clock. Cato has it. He takes a tough shot, and it's good. He's too good, y'all. Oh, and it's out of bounds. Damian Garcia. I don't think Damian Garcia has taken a shot all half, but he is been ridiculous your score with six seconds left to go in the first half 39 to 32 back in a moment it's stars basketball baby let's get so baby And here we go, because Sean Brown has it. Six seconds left to go. Cato gets it out to King. It's got to go up. Three is up. No good. And that'll be the half. Your score after one. Stars up 39 to 32. My name is Carter the Power. If you want to hit me up on social media, Twitter and Instagram, at Carter the Power. Let me know how I'm doing. If you hate me, love me, doesn't matter. It's all good, man. Huh? 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 We'll be back in 10. It's Stars Basketball, baby. Show me some love in the chat. Let's go.
And we are back, Stars Nation. Show me some star emojis in the chat. I need a little bit more energy. I need you to get on my level. We got a seven-point game. Raheem Briggs coming back in strong, and he can't get it to go for the and one. Cam Robinson a little frustrated. He felt Raheem could have put that in, but that's still some really good hustle. And Raheem will go to the line to shoot two. Stars coming out firing. Raheem Briggs got into some foul trouble from Omaha, Nebraska. First free throws up, and it's good. Briggs coming into this game averaging 12 points and a near 100% free throw percentage. And I knew I jinxed him. And we get a yes, yes. I thought I jinxed him. I thought I jinxed him. Oh, my goodness. Raheem Briggs shooting near 100% from the free throw line. This time it's going to go in. Buckets. Raheem the Dream has a huge fan base on here. Oh, good dribble. Or good cut there by that's number 20, Terry Gupton. I've never heard that last name, Gupton. I like it. Braden for three, and it's good! <laughs> 44 to 34, your score. 19.55 left to go. Oh, good drive by Wally. And that was on it. The best defender for the Stars, Garcia. Braden Edison, good spin move. And he gets fouled. And it's good. The light bulb knocks down both. Oh, Wally almost scored again. The light bulb gets the rebound. Good pass to Garcia. Gets it back to Braden. And he can't get it to go. Oh, man. Braden's going to hate himself for missing that one. That was some excellent ball movement. And that should be a foul on. Jalen King, and that's what the call will be. Twenty five on the shot clock. Looks like we'll get a quick mop up here. Stars on D here. Wally throws it in. Oh, Cam's going to be frustrated. Easy bucket there for Kari Loggins. Troy Ramos shoots, and they're going to call an illegal screen on Jalen King. And King picks up two fouls in less than a minute. Huge momentum shift because Jalen King's been so good tonight. Raheem Briggs comes back into the game. Very frustrating. It did look like King was moving just a little bit, but you rarely see that called. And they're going to get Damian Garcia on the foul. And the Colts have picked up a bunch of fouls here. And refs do like to get whistle happy in the second half, so the Colts will probably be in the bonus pretty quickly. 
Wally throws it in. And it's number 11, Moy with the ball. Wally got away with a little travel there. The three is up, and it's a near air ball. Barely grazed the rim. Gupton takes the three. That's no good. Raheem Briggs gets a really good rebound, and it's stolen here by the Colts. Seventeen forty-four left to go. Stars up by eight. Ten on the shot clock. Good defense from the light bulb, and he leads it to Jamarion Cato. Gets it back to Braden. 17-33, stars up by eight. Open three for Troy. Rattles out. Good rebound by Garcia. He finds Ramos again. Step back three is up. No good. Wally. Oh, man, it looked like that was off of Wally. Colts will keep the ball. We welcome you in. Second half action. Stars basketball. Brought to you by Harrison Financial Management. Murphy USA and Tidwell Consulting. Three is up, no good. Good rebound. By Jamarion Cato, Brayden Edison. Takes a floater, kept his pivot foot. Brayden gets it back. Braden gets swatted there. Very physical. Stars wanted a foul. Don't get it. Wally. Oh, that should have been out on Gupton, but it wasn't. Gupton has it here, number 20 for the Colts. Guarded here by Ramos. He almost gets a steal. Gupton throws it away. Good pass from Garcia. To Cato, and it's an easy two. Stars up by double digits now. 48 to 38, 16 22 left to go in this one. Stars looking to pull away here. And we'll get a timeout here from Coach Dan Asunu. Stars up by 10, baby. 16 16 left to go. Show me those star emojis in the chat, baby. Let's go, baby. Ah, ah, ah. All righty. Stars basketball trivia. First time we've done this in a while. We'll get a trivia question here for you in just a moment. They bring the seven-footer Gonzalez back in. He makes a good pass to Hampton, and he scores a two-pointer. 48-40 is your score. Ramos gets it to Briggs. He takes a three, and it's good. Raheem the Dream Briggs for three. 15-52 left to go. 51 to 40 is your score. Stars up by 11. Two three zone. Good steal from Raheem Briggs. Makes a good pass to Ramos. Cato has it. Good spin move, and one, oh! Jamari on Cato, floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. Gets found and go to the line to shoot two. All right, while he takes these free throws, let's do some NBA trivia. Which NBA star has the obscure jersey number of 77, which NBA star has the obscure jersey number of 77? 
Second free throw from Cato is no good. And we'll reveal the answer here in just a moment, Art, until someone actually gets it right in the chat. 15-16 left to go. 11-point lead for the Stars. Gonzalez, the seven-footers, back in. They get it to Hampton. He goes up, and he's going to get an and one. And Coach Dan Amusu is having to sell, settle down number 21, Hampton. Or Harper, excuse me. Zion Harper. I guess he doesn't know what a scoreboard is. And he makes the and one. 51-43 to 43 is your score. 15-04 left to go. Eight-point lead for the Stars. High screen. Braden Edison takes it in. Can't get it to go. Can't get it to go. Get it, Braden Edison finally taps that in. I'll call that the Angel Reese. She'll miss a layup, but still tip it in. Braden Edison does the same thing. Still here from Garcia. He takes it in. And one! Damian Garcia rarely shoots, but when he does, it goes in. And that is just typical Damian Garcia. Defense leads to offense. The mustache mafia is lit. And it's good. Big shout out to Tommy E. He was the winner. Luka Doncic is your answer. And you are allowed to wear the number 77 now in college basketball. It used to be you couldn't wear that. Any number over the digit five. That should be an offensive foul, and it is. Number 34, Kari Loggins barreled his shoulder into the chest of a Stars defender. Braden has it, 17 on the shot clock. He gets doubled, and he gets swatted. Good defense right there. Number three, Jordan Reese checks into the game, only averaging three points per game. So the Colts going deep into that bench. Oh, Briggs open for three. Hand down, man down. You can't let him breathe. Raheem Briggs, the trifecta, baby. Stars up by a lot. 16-point lead, and it's Damian Garcia with the steal. And he throws it down. Damian Garcia up by 18, and the Colts are running out of answers. 13-38 left to go. 18-point game. Let's get it. And here come the Stars going up against the Colts. 13-35 left. Stars up by 18. Open three for Wally. He passes it up. He takes it in. He gets fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. Thanks again to our partners, Murphy USA, Tidwell Consulting, and Harrison Financial Management. 
please go fill your tanks up at the Murphy USA next to the Walmart in El Dorado. Tidwell Consulting, always got to love them. And Harrison Financial Management, 870-444-5051. Wally misses it. Jamarion Cato gets it. And it'll be Troy Ramos, the steadying force. Ball here to Jamarion Cato. Oh, you are so gross, Jamarion Cato. Couldn't get it to go. A little bit of a dream shake there. Good bucket there. Number 11, Nick Moy with the Grinch shoes on. Ramos gets stripped. Good transition defense from the Stars. And we're gonna get an illegal screen here. Number one, Demaje Hampton. Lots of illegal screens called tonight. Into the game, Philip Tillman. Twelve thirty-one. Left to go. Stars up by fifteen. High pick here. Raheem the Dream Briggs gets it to Ramos. High pick from Cato. Ramos takes it all the way in. Oh, and a good steal. And it will be a jump ball situation. And it should go to the Colts. We say hi to Mr. Trejo. Showing some love to Raheem the Dream Briggs. Shout out to Tommy and Talika, both getting, um, or tequila, excuse me. Speaking of tequila. Twelve on the shot clock. Stolen by Ramos. Oh, they got a fresh shot clock. And the refs are going to discuss this. If that should be a fresh shot clock or not. It didn't look like... It didn't look like possession was ever gained. So they're going to put five seconds on the shot clock. At least that's my best guess. Let's see what they do. Yes, they do just that. Seven seconds on the shot clock. It'll be number four. Edwin Aquino. Wally for three, and it's good. Oh, man. 61-49. Cam was not happy about that one. 11.34 left to go. Ramos. 11.25 left to go. Philip Tillman has it. He has it. 15 on the shot clock. 10 on the shot clock. Philip Tillman gets it to Cato. Shots blocked. Oh, they call a foul here. Kari Loggins. Sorry about the camera going over there. Someone got into the booth and, and caught the, the leg here. I, th I actually thought I was about to fall off. You know whenever you're sitting at a desk chair and you're leaning back on those back two wheels or those back two legs? and you feel yourself falling, huh, 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 huh? That's how I felt just now. Y'all should be very happy I'm still alive. I 
really thought my life was ending because I was just locked in on the game. And... Ha! 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 Okay, that will shoot two. Apologies there, Star Nation. First free throw's no good. I know some of y'all are locked in on the screen, whether you're watching this on the big screen or your iPad or your iPhone. You're probably like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is, is there an earthquake going on? Ha, 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 ha. Kato's going to take one more here. And it's good. He gets a second to go. Justin, no, we got the trivia answer. Good hustle from the Colts. Nick Moye. Shares the same last name of the famous Eldorado sports writer, Kev Moye. Cato can't get it to go. And the Colts have a chance to cut this to single digits. Oh, that's a good no-look pass. And the Colts have done just that. 10-23 left to go. Kashawn Brown. Gets it to Briggs. Floaters up, and it's good! Raheem the Dream Briggs. One of the more versatile offensive weapons you'll see in NJCAA basketball. 10 minutes left to go. Wally, that's a nice take. Cold score, nine point game, 9.53 left to go. Three is up for Raheem Briggs, it's no good. And that should be a foul on Briggs. He was in some early foul trouble. I think that'll only be his third. And into the game, Braden Edison and uh, Damian Garcia for Briggs and Ramos. Once again, like we predicted before the game, the Stars have played every single player who's dressed out tonight. 9.42 left to go. Stars up by nine. Good steal. Hampton goes up, blocked by Braden Edison. Jump ball situation. And it should go to the Stars. The one thing about the Stars, they are very smart defensive players. This is a very high basketball IQ team. And that's a testament to Dominic Weems, the assistant coach, and Cam Robinson, the head coach. And uh, we're wiping down the ball. Nine thirty-one left. Don't forget, doubleheader. We need you here at Stars Arena. Five thirty, seven thirty. The women will be back in action. Women's offense tonight looked a little bit better defensively, though they couldn't get enough stops. Very high-scoring game for both teams. So we'll see you here Monday night, five thirty, seven thirty, and of course we'll have the stream for you. Oh, the floor's still a little slippery. Garcia gets it to Cato for three. Good rebound by Damian Garcia. Just every little hustle play. The floater is up, no good. 9.09 left to go. And the ball is lost. Colts throw it out. 8.53 left to go. Stars up 64 to 55. I know the Lady Stars have, have had a tough season, but I do want to shout them out. They have stayed, most of the players, for the entirety of this game. It's really helped with this home court advantage. And they're going to call Braden Edison. A little bit of a flop there from number 23. He does get the call. That's Glover. Cam Robinson does need to be careful. He already has a technical foul. Braden is furious. It was soft. Good block by Garcia. And one. Number 21. Zion Harper 
has scored two buckets this entire game. And both times, he has gone into full celebration mode. I mean, stomping, galloping, anything you want to call it. Jalen King gets subbed out here for Raheem Briggs. Once again, Zion Harper. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, man. This free throw will cut it to six. And he makes it. And the Colts bring some full court pressure. Damian Garcia takes over the point. He gets it up to Cato. 8.20 left to go. Stars only up by six. Raheem Briggs has it. He gets it to Kashawn Brown. Philip Tillman has it. Raheem the Dream Briggs. 11 on the shot clock. Stars need to get into gear here. Philip Tillman takes the three. And it's good! And the Stars will take a timeout. Your score with eight minutes left to go. Stars 67. Colts 58. It's Stars basketball. Don't forget, like the South Arkansas Community College YouTube page. And what I need you to do, if you're watching on YouTube, go to our Facebook page and Google, I say Google, search in Facebook Star Force. That is our fan base, our fan group, Star Force. If you want consistent updates on your South Dark Stars, let's go. And here come the Stars. Eight minutes left to go. 67 to 58 is your score. Stars pick up in a 2-2-1 press here. 25 on the shot clock. They might get a 10 here. And they almost do. Wally gets it across the timeline. Wild pass here. Colts out of sorts here. 7.44 left to go. 10 on the shot clock. Wally shoots a floater, it's short. That was just a great defensive possession by the Stars. Cato decides to take it himself, and he does get it up to Garcia. Back here to Ramos, 7.23 left to go in this game, 20 on the shot clock. Here comes a high pick from Cato. Ramos takes it in, the floater's up, it's no good. Raheem Briggs gets it blocked. Stars need to get it up, Cato can't get it to go. A good defensive possession by the Colts. 67-58, still your score. Seven minutes left to go in this game. Deep three is up. It's short. Phillip Tillman gets trapped. Gets it to Garcia. Back to Tillman. Stars have numbers. Phillip Tillman gets it to Ramos. Back to Tillman. To Garcia. Ten on the shot clock here. Good pass to Ramos. He takes the floater, doesn't go in. Good rebound by the Colts. Blocked! Jamarion Cato says get that out of here. And with 6.28 left to go, Stars still up by nine. This defense has been ferocious. Let's see what the Stars can do here. Three, two zone. Stars are thrown out every defensive look you can think of. Three is no good. Dylan Glover has been colder than iced tea. 21 left to go. 
Long two is up, and it's so silky smooth from Troy Ramos. Stars now up by 11. 5.49 left to go in the second half. Almost stolen there by Philip Tillman. Glover takes another three. He finally gets one to go. I jinxed it. <laughs> it's an eight-point game. Garcia has it. 5.31 left to go. Ooh, what a move by Ramos. The floater's up, and it's so silky smooth. 71-61. to 61. Can the Stars close out a wild pass? Glover does keep it in. It's number 21, Zion Harper gets it to go. Eight point lead for the Stars. Philip Tillman running the point here. Ramos has it. That should be a blocking foul and it is on number four, Edwin Aquino. Two free throws coming up for Ramos. There's very few players on the planet you would rather have at the free throw line. And it's good. Stars in the one and one here. Huge free throw right there. Second free throws up. And it's good. Stars up by 10. Oh, good press break from the Colts. Good bucket from Hampton. Stars. Up by eight now. Ramos takes a tough shot and it's good. It doesn't matter, man. He's so freaking good. Troy, silky smooth, Ramos. Good play from Pillow Tillman. 19 on the shot clock, 4.14 left to go. Stars up by 11. Cato with another nice hustle play. One of the most animated coaches in the country, Stan Asumu. I love it. He brings the same energy for the men's and women's teams. It is so difficult to coach both. 15 on the shot clock. Wally for three. And it's good. Huge three right there. Cuts the lead to eight. Philip Tillman, a few crossover dribbles. The spin cycle from Philip Tillman. Troy Ramos has it. He takes another three. No good. 3.45 left to go. Easy bucket there. And the Colts have cut it to six. 76 to 70 is your score. Garcia. Has it. Ramos has it. Gets it to Garcia for three. It's up. No good. Rebound Colts. 3.15 left to go. They have a chance to make it a one possession game with a three. Glover has it. Oh, tough pass from Glover. It's stolen by Braden Edison. Good cross court pass here to Garcia. He gets it to Ramos. He gets picked. Here comes the Colts. Stars look a little winded. Cam Robinson will make a sub and a timeout from the Colts. 2.50 left to go. Stars 76, Colts 70. Back in a moment, it's Stars basketball.
And here come your stars. Stars put in Kashun Brown. Defensive substitution. 2.50 left to go. Let's see what the Stars can do here. Ooh, Glover had a chance. He decided to not pull it. He takes it now. No good. And Philip Tillman is off to the races. Gets it to Ramos. What a shot! From Troy Ramos. I have no idea how he got it in, but he did. 2.25 left to go. 78 to 70. High pick here. Glover gets it in to the Colts. Nowhere to go. Good defense here from the Stars. And it's Stars ball. Wally was begging for the foul. Doesn't get it. Coming into the game is number 21, Zion Harper. 208 left to go. Stars up by eight. Stars sitting pretty here. Once again, they are in the bonus. A little shocked that you don't see some full court pressure here from the Colts. Ramos has it. Ramos takes it. It's no good. Rebound Phillip Tillman. It's stolen. Stolen again! Colts get it, and he throws it off of Ramos, and the Colts will have it. 146 left, 78 to 70 is your score. Chris Miller coming in for mob duty. Once again, broadcast executive producer Justin Guerin and Benji Brown. On site producer Zion Ganter. Your play by play announcer, yours truly, Carter the Power Bryant. I want to connect with you on social media at Carter the Power. As the referees try to get things in order here. 146 left. This is why Kashun Brown was put into the game for some full court pressure. Good steal here from Jalen King. Wally will take the three. No good. Ramos has it. He gets it up to Kashun Brown. Brown gets it to Braden Edison, and he smartly takes it out. 78 to 70 is your score. 117 left to go. Stars are cruising to a victory here. Ramos takes the 15 footer, and it's good. Troy Ramos gives the Stars a 10 point lead. Almost stolen by Braden, the light bulb Edison. And the Colts will keep it. 105 left to go. Once again, one of the athletic capitals of the world, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. You see it here tonight. I mean, you think of all the legendary athletes that have come from Pine Bluff. I mean, they ran Arkansas all the way back, what, pre-50s? They were winning state title after state title after state title. Two Pine Bluff athletes here. And they also happen to be the two shortest guys on the court. Kashun Brown and Troy Ramos have been the closers here. Zion Harper. Traveling. And the Stars up by 10. Less than a minute left to go. Kashun Brown has it. Still shocked that the Colts are not fouling. And it looks like the Stars will take this on in. Ramos takes another shot. No good. 47 seconds left to go. Troy Ramos still letting it rip. 45 seconds left to go. Glover takes a three. No good. Harper has it. And that's a foul on Philip Tillman. 
Colts have a chance to get a few buckets here while the clock has stopped. Still should be enough here for the Stars to win. Now, don't forget, we'll be here Monday night, doubleheader. Thirty-six seconds left to go. Harper takes the first free throw. I, I'm, I'm serious. Zion Harper is the most animated basketball player I've ever seen on this court. I love it. He jumps for his free throws. You rarely see that. And it works. I'm shocked that's not done more. Uh, okay. Don't know what happened. Kashawn Brown has it. I am shocked. Okay, now you get pressure. Philip Tillman gets it to Troy Ramos. And now they got a foul. They are not fouling. And that's good. We don't want them to foul. Let this thing dribble out. Eight point lead. They're just gonna play this out. Oh, I don't know about that illegal screen call. Jalen King gets called for it. 16 seconds left to go. And Jalen King fouls out there. And Cam Robinson, no need to argue it. Because if he does, he can get that second tech. But it looks like the Stars will take this one on in. Wally. Shots up. No good. Should be Colts ball. Five seconds left to go. And Philip Tillman takes it, and he'll dribble it out. That's maturity right there. Your final score, Stars 80, Colts 72. Don't forget, full schedule, SouthArkStars.com. Next game will be right here at Stars Arena, Monday night, doubleheader, 5.30, 7.30. Women and men will play. And next Thursday, we also have a game, doubleheader, right here. Check out all of our action, SouthArkStars.com. 80 to 72, 80 to 72, your final score. Player of the game, that's kind of tough. There's a lot of different players you can give it to. Ramos, but I'm going to give it here to Jamari Cato from Simsboro, Louisiana. His first game back in action at home was dynamic. Stars move to 10 and 6. Once again for Justin Guerin, Benji Brown. Our partners, Murphy USA, Harrison Financial Management, and Tidwell Consulting. His name is Zion Ganter on the ones and twos. My name is Carter the Power Bryant. Hit me up on social media at Carter the Power. I'm excited, man. I just got word my Lady Tigers lost tonight. Ugh. But Lil Boosie's also coming to town, so I'm excited about that. February 10th. Ha, 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 ha. Because I'm on. We'll talk to you soon. It's Stars Basketball, baby. Let's go.